Hi, I'm Andrea, and you might be asking yourself right now, with all the craziness in politics lately, do politics and investing and the stock market all impact each other? Should you worry about it? Should you not worry about it? In this video, I am very briefly going to go through what you should consider and what you shouldn't consider if you are an investor versus if you're a new trader. So investor versus trader. If you are investing in the stock market and you are in it for the long term versus trading, you are trading day in, day out, you are taking positions, you are betting on stuff. Those are two very different approaches to deciding if politics is going to impact your investing. If you are a trader, it absolutely does. Now, that's not what we're here to discuss because I am not a trader, I am an investor. So if you are an investor, let's talk about politics in the stock market. We're gonna break this into two categories and that is policy and politics. I'm actually separating these out and we'll get a little bit quickly into why those are. Now, policy. This is what you actually want to be worried about new laws that are coming on board, relationships with other countries, the type of stuff that will actually legitimately affect a business's ability to make profit, revenue, uh, issues with authorities, everything like that. You actually do want to be keeping a loose check on policy as it's being discussed and definitely look at it as it is enacted. And now why do I say loose check on the stuff that's being talked about? Because until it passes as a law, it doesn't have a specific impact. So what you wanna do is kind of look and monitor, is this easily gonna pass through both houses? Is it gonna get signed? If it's easily gonna pass, then you definitely need to take that into consideration. If it's split and this is a really difficult topic, then it's harder to gauge. But as an investor, you want to be paying attention to what the politicians do with policy. At the same time, what the agencies, the federal agencies are doing that might impact your stocks. And I wouldn't even look at this on a stock by stock basis. I would look at on an industry level basis. You don't necessarily want to just look at how does it fit this company. You want to look at it. How does it impact this industry? Does it change the industry? Does it help the industry? Does it hurt the industry? Now, the second part of that is the actual politics. And when I'm saying politics, I'm talking about this day to day, the arguing, the bickering, who can tweet what, who can do this. Um, that just leave to the side. It is show. It doesn't necessarily have a direct impact on a stock. Now, when does this actually have an impact on the stock? Well, that would be as if it's an industry that's influenced like that. Are you in the news? Are you looking at buying a news and media company? Well, you're definitely better off now than in peaceful, quiet, unassuming times. But this day-to-day -day bickering does not have a long-term impact. So let's take the chaos at the Capitol yesterday. Horrible. But let's look at how that would impact your stocks because the stock market's going crazy right now. So on one hand, we have this true threat to our democracy. And on the other hand, we have stocks that are going up and up and up. A lot of it doesn't make sense. And that's why you don't want to get stuck in that trading mentality of playing off the here and now. But going back to policies and procedures, what you would want to look at is, okay, this happened. There will be reviews afterwards. Things will change. Where does the budget for Capitol Police go? Does that increase our military budget? Um, what type of industries and companies are going to be impacted by the chaos? So don't trade based on the chaos. Consider how that long-term impacts your industry. 
So just a quick summary here. Basically, if you are trading, then yes, this is going to have an impact, but we're not here for that. <laughs> if you are an investor, politics have a lower impact on your investing than you need to allow it. You need to look at it from a fundamental perspective of the stocks and the industries that you are looking for. And that is about it. Watch it as it influences what you want to invest in. Not taking radical guesses about what might happen, but when we get to the point of, okay, this is how we're going to fix this, and how does that apply to different industries? So I hope that helps you. If you have questions, please comment below and I will try and get back to them. If you want more information on how to figure out and analyze stocks and industries on a fundamental basis, not a technical basis, click subscribe because I publish videos on how to do exactly that, how to figure out how this will affect businesses and stocks going forward. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in the next video.